Hi, this is Monica from Ready Repeat, and I'm doing a tutorial on how I curl my hair. I use hot rollers. This is something that I've gotten questions on for the longest time, and I keep saying, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I don't because I think that it might be a little boring. So you asked for it, and or I'm gonna try to be fast for once. I use those Revlon hot rollers. They come in a case like this, and they are very long and they have like these little ridges on them and what is like one of my favorite things about them is that they come with claw clips not the like sometimes hot rollers come with wire clips that would not hold my hair i have a lot of hair so um i think i lost one so i have an extra random alternate clip in here but the first thing i do is part it in the middle for the most part, usually my hair naturally has like a very aggressive part naturally to this side, but I, for curling purposes, usually not always part it in the middle and I section off my hair. So this is like two sections and then I'll do a front section on each so that it is four sections total. Yep. That's all. And this just makes it easier because there are two different sizes of rollers on this. And most hot rollers come with different sized rollers. So you want to use the smaller rollers on the shorter parts of your hair if you have shorter parts. Or you want to use it on just using less hair in those sections on those rollers. So once I have the in half and then in half there... I start from the back actually because I feel like there is more hair and it's gonna be it just seems a little longer I used to actually have layers this is why I originally did it this way it seems like it's longer and then it needs a little bit more time to curl and it's easier right the the front rollers aren't in the way so I start from the back and all I do because they're really there are only 12 rollers here and I just need to make sure that I'm sectioning my hair so that each, I'm using all 12 of them. So each section, kind of basically each half of my hair gets six rollers. So I'll use three big ones in the back and three um, smaller ones towards the front. And lately, because my hair is just so long right now and it doesn't have layers actually, I have been just, um, doing four in the back and two in the front so that's how it goes and then i do the other side back 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 first and this is kind of i am rushing because i don't want this video to like go on forever but um i really do it really fast usually and before i do this i put some dry shampoo um in the front, I, anywhere that's like super greasy or anything like that, you know? I don't know where I just put down my comb that I was just, just using, so whatever. And so I basically just do four sections, try to put three in each section in the past. Lately, I have been putting um, just two in the front and just focusing on um, just making sure that equal hair is in each one and I do try to make sure that these have some time to set before I like get nice and hot before I put them in my hair so I will sometimes if I'm taking a quick shower turn them on or when I'm figuring out what I'm gonna wear before I'm leaving I will turn these on beforehand but they are really quick actually and I leave them in depending on how straight my hair is like my hair is dirty today I did not wash it today you could tell it still had some curl in it um so if my hair is freshly washed and I want to curl it I will um I will usually leave it in a lot longer then and they still fall up because my hair is very very straight but if my hair is dirty it will stay stay yes 
and I don't really actually use any hairspray unless like I don't know I really really want it to stay or I don't know I'm going somewhere windy did you see the hair fall out so now I'm on to the front I have to start the front a little high up because I used to have bangs and um let them grow up so that happened and I um See, I, had, I actually have a long one left, so I'm going to use this for the long one. And this is what happens. Like, I end up, if, it, if I didn't section it out right, then I will have, I'll just like throw the extra one in wherevs. This is what we do. So I put these all in. Actually, I only have two left, so I'm almost done. And so far, this has taken me like five minutes. I feel like it probably takes me about five minutes when I'm doing it normally um and then I just leave them in until they're cool or like I said until I feel like they sometimes I will leave them in a while and sometimes I'll leave them in five minutes and if I just want to kind of have body in my hair so they cool off then usually I do my makeup I already have makeup on today then I'll dance around right now I want to go in front of the fan because I'm hot as I'm sweaty it's very hot in here and I had to turn off the air to be able to do this and you can hear me but I'll be right back to show you how it looks when I I'm back while I was gone since I didn't have to do my makeup which I normally do I had some avocado toast so it still might be on my face I didn't really look in the mirror yet but now I'm going to take them out and they're still actually a little warm a lot warm maybe I didn't leave them in that long because my hair is dirty so I feel like it's gonna grab the curl pretty good See, look at how they look right now. They look pretty like random tight curls, but I just shake it off like Taylor Swift or shake it out, whatever you want to say. And they like fall perfectly into beachy waves. And that's it, right? That's what we're going for, ladies? Yes? No? Maybe? Right. And I am just putting these back in the little container thing. Usually they fall out pretty easy. Unless like I did it weird and there's like the end that's stuck, you know? Like this. No, this one's not even stuck. I've had them like super stuck, you know? Have you ever been drinking wine while you're getting ready? And then you mess up something and you kind of overreact? If you keep drinking, you can convince yourself that it doesn't look that bad. Boom. Okay, they're all out. So far, so far. Right now, what I do in my last step is I usually just flip my hair upside down and shake it out. Like I said, right? Shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. And then I mess with my the bangs a little bit because this is, I mean, they're not bangs at this point. It's ridiculous how long they are, but I, I can tuck them behind my hair. It's not bangs, but the rest of my hair is so long and I don't have layers right now. It's just like one long length that it, I feel like the bangs look a little obvious, even though they might not be, you know, you want to see the back? I don't even know how it looks because I don't have a back mirror, but hopefully doesn't look like a bad word I was gonna spell the bad word but I decided not to and in about 10 minutes it'll be like perfect beachy kind of waves <laughs> it'll fall that fast but it holds on to that much it holds on to just enough that it's kind of like a um like kind of like yeah just like a beachy wave situation so I mess with it. I just make sure that they're all separated because, again, there was only 12 rollers, right? That is not a lot. And so if my hair is only in 12 sections, I want more than 12 curls. I'm just going to have to pull some of them apart. Usually they come apart just um, by me messing with it a little bit. I don't know what's the official hair care term for this. But me just doing this, it really does usually separate and flipping it upside down like i said and then done and done and maybe sometimes i'll put on something outside of a a shirt a t-shirt look like a 
like I'm making some sort of an effort. But um, yeah, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.